you can stop here real quick and I can explain to you the school crest. Ocean Academy is the name of the school. The book represents education. The three gold points represent the three founders of Ocean Academy, Ms. Heidi Curry, Ms. Joni Miller, and Mr. Dane Dingerson. Our dolphin is our school mascot. The red mangrove represents the ecosystem. Preserving our heritage and creating our future is our school motto. And 2008 is when the school was established. Key Cocker believes where it's located. We're at morning assembly, I believe. So around 2013, Joni Miller, she, we have had to work very hard from the very beginning of this school to fund the school and fund the education. And she reached out to Danny Michelle, a stranger, and explained what the school was. Um, she was a fe fellow Canadian. She knew that he cared about Belize and he cared about the environment. And she told him about the school and we really desperately and so he said, well, let me see what I can do. And ever since then, he has been a major spokesperson for Ocean Academy at his concerts all over the world. And he is carrying the story of Ocean Academy with him. I chose to come here because, I mean, I saw the potential even as a young girl. I saw the potential in the school and like she said, even though it's small, it opens so many doors and so many students have had the opportunity to go to different um, competitions and compete in so many different things and I think that the more we expand and grow that other students will notice it and we can continue growing. I now want to tell you that last Friday night Danny held a concert and he worked, he and Sarah worked for months to prepare for that. They collected items to, to auction and make, make extra money for the school. So Sea Dreams donated a couple of free night packages and fishing trips. Other businesses donated. Um, a lot of different Canadian musicians contributed things. The uh, $5 bill in Canada has an astronaut on the back of it. That astronaut's name is Chris Hadfield. He went on stage on behalf of Ocean Academy, played a song on the guitar, signed his name on the guitar, and right there they said, who in the audience wants to make a donation to the school and take home this special guitar? So a lot of people, musicians from all over Canada, came to that stage last Friday night and played because they built up this big awareness and excitement for your education. So when you hear from him today, I don't want you to think he's just anybody who showed up on our campus. He is an incredibly special person, and I'm so honored to have him here with us today. And he has made the single greatest impact on keeping this school thriving. And one of the reasons is because of Danny's fans and people like Danny's fans who do contribute and believe in and invest in this school. And this does not mean these are rich people. This means these are people who have that part of their heart, like on our wall down there that says, be the change you want to see in the world. These are people who got a high school education of their own and they learn that Belize does not have free education for everyone and it's harder, so they contribute. I wanted to see if you could share with Mr. Danny and Michelle what are you guys learning this morning? Where we're learning yeah. profit and loss. Profit and loss. Ooh, that sounds important. Profit and loss. What's better? Yeah. Yeah. Profit. Yeah. profit. Yeah. Did you make it? Oh. No, my mom. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Second form. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Do you like coming to school here? Yeah, I love it. I don't like it, I love it. You don't like it, you love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is our school mural, and this mural was painted, um, hand painted, by the first graduating class of Ocean Academy. Usually every year when a class graduates, they leave something at the school. And this one is my favorite. Education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. You know, what's the, been the best part about going to school here? Um, well, I, I have no best part. Everything is, I just love everything about this school. In fact, he is the first student who has ever been granted a, an internship at Atlantic Bank. I'm sure you're familiar with yeah. the bank on the island. They always said, no, high school students are not mature enough. We're not allowed to do that. But he was professional and consistent and emphatic. And not only did they let him come in and do it, but they had him come back 
for a whole week. And he was doing teller services, like with cash and money and customer service. And they said that he was one of the, they just were, were blown away by his desire to learn, his ability to learn, and his professionalism and everything he did. So he's really established um, a reputation for what it means to be an Ocean Academy student who can be mature like an adult in a bank. I'm really and proud of you. That's a awesome. A leader man. in sports, um, team captain, and just really leads his fellow classmates. And also um, playing sports. I just love sports. I love to play basketball. This is the first year that um, my team, well, the school team, went to the regionals game. Finally beat San Pedro. The school? Yeah. Yes. The Ocean Academy ball team won and beat San Pedro? Yes. <laughs> Boom! We, we win everything here. Everything. <laughs> this is an invitation to the Innovation Challenge. And what's cool about it is this is our team last year who won first place. And we won first place three out of the last five years. Amazing. Not only would I be leaving with a high school diploma, but because of Ocean Academy, I'm leaving with so many more certificates and awards. As Ms. Heidi Curry said, with the Innovation Challenges, but not only that, some of the students are certified in culinary arts, um, electricians, first aid, CPR, food handlers, and all of these things would help them, regardless if they're continuing education or they want to join into the workforce, because of these certificates, it puts them at a much greater advantage than an ordinary high school student. And what do you want to do in the future? I want to become the first female cardiothoracic surgeon in the world. <laughs> I have no doubt you're going to do that. Oh, thank you. Amazing. I was speaking to the fire chief and he told me that I could join the volunteer firefighting because of my age. So now we're doing internship from today, Thursday, February 6th, until March 12th. Amazing. Yeah. I, I think lots of kids when they're little say they want to be a fireman. Uh, well, I, well, and you're going to do it. Well, I want to be a pilot. A pilot. Oh, okay. But, Just a fireman for now to get yeah, started. Yeah, that's like my stepping stone, you know. Are you having a good time at Ocean Academy? Great. Good to see you. I would love for you to share with Mr. Danny, why has acro yoga been so important to you? This, um, doing yoga has helped me to control my anger issues. Okay. And it helps us to trust each other. Yeah, very talented students. <coughs> Helen is our treasurer for student government and Janelli is our secretary for student government. What are you guys learning? Scratch. Scratch. What's that? I believe that Ocean Academy is a great school because Ocean Academy opens a lot of doors and opportunities for you to do what you want for you to follow your dream career and it, it might be a small school but we are great and very, oh, what's the word? very passionate school and I am thankful to have Miss Curry as our principal because then she pushes us to um, take our career seriously and take our school seriously and even for those that might want to drop out she pushes them to stay in school and have a life in an education so I am a proud student of Ocean Academy all right back to class everyone get back to class there's learning to do Five, four, three, two, one. let's go now I push through the crowd it's New Year's Eve and I'm a stranger and I'm here in a far land in a punta rock bands rock punta beats baby food jars broken maracas roadside trash and power fails dead air swims through radio waves now Gardens and underwater caves. Well, I just got this feeling like I never got before. Yeah, you got me reeling and coming back for more. Did you just get that feeling like you never got before? This is a mistake I'm feeling I should make them more